What is it about chloramines in people's drinking water that you're concerned about? Chloramines are a combination of ammonia and chlorine. They sound really nice, don't they? But they're not nice. They are adding another harmful chemical into the water supply. We have done the research here at Rosamond Community Services District. We do not want to expose our people to this disinfectant in the water supply. Yes, we need a disinfectant. We need to make sure the water is safe. But introducing chloramines, in my opinion, is adding a thief into your house. Chloramines are really bad for your health. And it, and it, it can take a variety of different conditions. Some people will get dry, itchy, cracking, chapping, blistering, bleeding skin. They can have deep dandruff, uh, thick, scaly uh, skin sloughing off of their head. They can have hair loss. They can have all kinds of skin problems, all based on their exposure to chloramines in the shower. In the shower, it is amazing what chloramines does. It becomes a gas. It becomes di and trichloramine. They are very caustic to people's skin. And your skin is absorbing this ammonia and it's, it can burn you. It can cause bright red coloration. So your skin is telling you, I don't like it. I've walked up to people in from Orange County and found out where they are and I said, you have chloramines in your water. They said, yeah, our skin is itchy and our hair is falling out. I don't have to go very far to find people who are having problems with their chloraminated water. Also in the shower, it the trichloramine, dichloramine can burn these, the uh, sinuses, the throat, the lungs. You can have sneezing, coughing, wheezing, choking, gasping. All of these things are caused by the trichloramines, dichloramines, what we would call chloramines in your shower. If you take a hot shower, that, that chloramine is gassing and you're breathing it in. It can cause asthma. It can mask allergies. It's infecting your sinuses, making them all sore and angry. And what it's doing as well, it literally breaks down the cell structural proteins. It breaks down the cells so that your, your cells don't recover then you get re-exposed and it gets worse and worse. I've talked to many people who have had these problems. They get away from their shower from chloramine and the symptoms go away. It is amazing that we still have this substance in our water supply. It is a, a hundred year old technology. I put it in the same trash can with formaldehyde in furniture, in DDT, and asbestos. It's the same kind of, of stuff, that same kind of technology that we're exposing our body to. There is better things that we can shower in. We have an epidemic of asthma. We have an epidemic of all kinds of illnesses. And we should be the healthiest nation. We have a good food supply. We should have an excellent water supply. We should be, we have vitamin supplements. We should be very healthy. But there seems to be a common denominator in many areas where they're having this epidemic of asthma and epidemic of different ailments. And I personally lay it, most of it, to the chloramines in the water supply. We can fix it, we can get rid of it. And I want to encourage you there to uh, find out if you have chloramines in the water. If you have any of these things wrong with your skin, if you have asthma suddenly that you've moved into an area and now you have asthma, you have allergies, you never had them before, find out if you have chloramines in your water supply. If you have eczema now and you never had it before but you've recently moved into an area with chloramines, find out and then practice by by not exposing yourself to to the shower to this chloramine water and seeing if your symptoms don't clear up after three to six months and and you can for your own uh, knowledge say then to your water purveyor it's making me sick i want it out of my water supply they're right these people who are opposing chloramines and I want to join forces with them and say chloramines are bad, it's affected my health, and there are better ways of dealing with our water disinfectant. But uh, chloramines don't affect 
everybody the same way, enough to send them to the doctor. That's, that's correct, uh, to a point. What happens with a lot of people, it's chloramines will attack that area of their weakest link. Um, some people get irritable bowel syndrome. They, when they drink chloramines, it affects them internally to where they, they get a lot of gas, they get intestinal distress, that kind of thing. Um, people who take really hot, long showers, they may come out coughing, sneezing, wheezing, choking, and end up with an asthma or allergy-like condition based on, again, some of their habits, maybe not their genetics. So if you have already uh, a dry skin, you may just go right into an eczema, that kind of thing. Because we're all different and because we all have um, maybe more of a sensitivity or a susceptibility to one disease or another, that's what, what makes it easier for water purveyors to say, oh, well, see, it's not the water. We meet all the requirements, so it couldn't possibly be the water. The water's safe. I mean, there's, there's no medical evidence of, of the water causing you these problems. Um, and so until there are some really good health studies to bring these people forward who have these sensitivities and have reactions to chloramines and who are being made sick, uh, the water purveyors will have an excuse to say, I can give you this chloramine water and it's okay. I have talked with people who chloramines have become life threatening. People who were sick four years ago just a little bit with chloramine exposure are now life threatened if they get exposed to chloramines. So the breakdown, the cellular breakdown keeps going. So it depends on how quickly your cells break down, how much exposure to chloramines that you have, how, how accumulative the damage is to your body it may dictate when you actually are sick enough to go to a doctor. Uh, that is that is between you know yourself and your habits and your genetics. We're trying to get tests and studies and information out there, force the government to prove that it's quote unquote safe. But when I've again talked to people who can't hardly breathe at night because of their exposure to chloramines and the the burning of their nasal passages, people who will go into toxic shock syndrome if they're exposed to chloramine water in their shower. Uh, I know of one case in Vermont that she was exposed to chloramines uh, just a few times and ended up in the hospital. So uh, there's a good percentage of people that are affected. Many don't understand that it's their water supply. I've talked to one expert in this in the San Francisco Bay Area who claims that possibly a third of all the people living in the Bay Area are affected in one way or another by the chloramines that they're ingesting or showering in or, or washing their clothes in, that they're getting some residual effect. As long as it remains unidentified, as long as people don't understand that these, these causes could be the water, we'll never know the accurate number. We'll never be able to send out a survey and say, look, do you have this, 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 and this? You're in a chloraminated area. If you stop using chloramines, then if your symptoms go away, then we'll know it's chloramines that's causing this problem. Until that day comes, those numbers you know, are still hypothetical. I can only go by the people that I've met. I can go down in a chloramine area and I'll find people that are 100% sick with asthma or allergies, 100% of, say, all the managers of a shopping center that has chloramines. That statistically is not possible, that 100% of all those people would have allergies. It, it just doesn't resonate. So when you go into areas and they have 100% problems or they have an epidemic of this or that or the other and they have chloramines, then to me that sends a red flag. We need to investigate this because our health is being at risk and what is more important than our health? If we lose our health, we don't have anything. We want our health. We want to be strong. We want to be vigorous. We want to contribute to society. We want to have our jobs. We want to have our recreation. All of those things. We want to be there for our kids. We don't want to be sick. We don't want to be in the hospital. So if chloramines is a portion of that that, that is making us sick, and it's easily fixed. We need to take care of that. We need to get it out of our water supply. 